All right, guys, welcome back here. So I want to take a quick side trip into the world of AI for just a second here. Uh, about a month ago, Unity uh, introduced uh, two new tools uh, that they call uh, Unity Muse and Unity Centus, uh, part of their like Unity AI initiative. Uh, that they first teased back in uh, GDC back in March. So Unity Muse is basically a uh, chat GPT integration uh, into, the in into the editor. And, but what I wanna focus on today is Unity Centus, uh, which there wasn't a whole lot said about this. And I think people are just don't know what this is and where it came from. Uh, Centus is a neural network inference engine uh, that can be run in Unity on device. And they had a little highlight reel here that showed uh, a character talking uh, to, to the player. And they say here like this can run on anything that can run Unity. Uh, what they don't actually go over is, um, Centus is just the next version of Unity Barracuda. And Barracuda has been live for a number of years now. Um, I think at least 2019, 2020, I believe is when it went like 1.0. It's currently in 3.0, and then the next update is going to be Centus 1.0. So basically, Centus is Barracuda 4. Um, Barracuda's been around for a while, and it can do um, a lot of things. Uh, traditionally, it's kind of been used in the computer vision space, uh, object recognition, um, face recognition, things for like robotics um, and drones and whatnot um, has basically been what Barracuda has, has been used for in the past. Um, it uses the Onyx uh, Open Neural Network Exchange uh, format for running AI models. There is a Onyx uh, model zoo, I believe is called uh, over on GitHub that has a number of different AI models that you can run. Um, in this last year or so, we've seen the rise of the large language models uh, like, like ChatGPT. Uh, there are language models out there that you can run um, on device through Onyx. Uh, they are kind of huge though. I think some of the Smaller ones are still like multi gigabytes, if not tens of gigabytes in size. So you might not be running this on uh, on a mobile device, on a phone or in VR. But all that stuff is just getting smaller and better and faster. Uh, so I just want to show like what uh, this has been used for in the past. Uh, there's a couple of. Uh, interesting GitHub repos that are out there, uh, and I'll show a little bit on it running uh, on my computer here. Uh, Keijiro here over with, I believe he's still with Unity Japan. Uh, he, If you haven't followed uh, his repo, you should really do this. Uh, he has a lot of really cool shader work uh, and just really cool experiments that he kind of does. Uh, this is uh, Waifu 2X, which is a image upscaler, which will take your blocky pixelated art and upscale it into high def. This is Unity's own uh, Barracuda starter kit, been out for a while, but this is using uh, MobileNet to do uh, static object recognition. 
Uh, it also has uh, face tracking and uh, multi-object static image recognition as well using the YOLO 3 uh, model here. Uh, there is the Barracuda style transfer, which is interesting. I think they show a little bit of this during the uh, Unity AI trailer that they released recently. Uh, I'll be showing this off here in just a second. Uh, this is Body Picks by Kedra as well. And this basically will take a video and segment it out into different body parts. Along with multiple users as well. This is um, image um, handwriting recognition uh, through the MNIST, I believe it is pronounced, uh, the MNIST model. And you can look at those through the uh, Onyx model zoo here. Uh, face mesh is, I have not seen this used anywhere else. I'm not sure what like the live 2D actually uses, but um, this is similar to that for face tracking. This is interesting and one that I really want to try to get working. Uh, this is just a uh, 3D motion tracking uh, through a 2D image. Uh, I don't believe this is real time. Uh, I believe they said it does take a good 15 to 20 seconds for it to start recognizing the video. But it seems to work uh, fairly well if you already have um, videos uploaded or maybe you can uh, have like your users upload a video to create custom emotes. And it does not seem to work um, half bad. So real quick here, we will, uh, I've got Unity Chan here and we are going to implement some of this uh, style transfer here. I'm not gonna go into the code at all. It's um, kind of a huge script, but it doesn't really matter. We will just look and see how this actually looks and runs. Okay, so this is just a uh, real simple scene, static background with some rotating spheres and Unity Chan here. And if we left click, we will enable the style transfer and then we'll cycle through it with the left clicks. Uh, down here in the corner, you'll see where uh, the image is sourcing from. So this image gets fed into the neural network and then apply to the uh, output render texture of the camera. We can maximize. And we'll see our FPS here. And I think I can right click here. We can see some movement here through Unity Chan. And this is running on, on my PC with a uh, Ryzen 7 and a uh, GTX 2060, I believe, is on this computer. So the performance here is not, not half bad. Uh, some of these are more readable than others. We can... Uh, Move the camera around a bit. Here. Take it around.
and we're hitting, you know, mainly 60 for the most part. And again, this is using uh, Barracuda, which uh, Centus will support um, larger models as well. I think Barracuda has a limit of uh, two gigabyte models uh, that it can run. And uh, Centus, I'm not sure what the actual limit is. It's in closed beta right now, so I don't actually have access to it. But the uh, Centus docs are up on the website. If you want to actually go through it and see, there is actually some, uh, quite a bit of docs. But anyways, yeah, that's uh, basically all I had here. Um, if you guys want to hear more about um, Unity AI stuff, uh, some of the other assets they have on the asset store, um, I might go ahead and do some quick reviews of those as well. Uh, yeah, if you guys any have any questions, definitely leave some comments below. And yeah, we will um, continue on continuing on. Thanks. See you guys later.